Got me a new device. Just came in the mail. This is my new tent. It's an ice fishing tent. Let's see how long it takes to uh, set this up. So this is the Vivor ice fishing tent that I got from Walmart. It uh, claims to set up really fast. 60 seconds, 90 seconds, something like that. This is the three person version, it was $110, which I think is a steal if it's actually as good as what some people are saying it is. So I know nothing about putting this thing together, so I've got to figure it out. Oh, that's cool. Oh, good, instructions. I don't think these instructions look too bad. So apparently there's some rope some tent stakes and the handbag, which it's already in. Ah, they actually have screws, that's cool. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. And it says to lift this one up. That felt right, sort of. I think I'm doing it. Okay. Let's check out the inside. So once you open up both doors, both windows, which are plastic covered, you can actually peel the window out and have it completely open. There's enough light in here. I was kind of wondering how illuminated it would be in here, but it's pretty good. This thing's huge. Seven and a half feet across. This is a disco bed cot, which is a obscenely large cot for what it is but it makes a bunk bed you could get it i have a second one that stacks on top anyway plenty of room in here for that one thing i noticed when i put this up is there are these little pinholes that are letting in light which is going to let in water and the stitching also has these little pinholes so if it was to rain and i had this set up this is going to be a problem and I don't plan on using this in the rain. You know, it's supposed to be an ice fishing tent, so that would be in a frozen environment where it would be snow instead of rain. I plan on using this as an alternate space to change clothes in, to cook in, to get out of the sun, to get out of the rain, to get out of the wind when I'm using my other camper. So, I was thinking about this last night. What would I put up on top of this to make it more waterproof? I would just throw an old dome tent that I cut the bottom out of. I've got several. Just over the top and secure it some kind of way if I needed to use this in the rain. But I don't plan on making a point of using it if it's, if it's going to be raining. And yeah, you can see where the stitching has allowed plenty of air holes light holes, rain holes, water holes, whatever you want to call it. However, this is going to be fun. I hope to go ice fishing, but I'm going to be doing a lot other camping with this other than ice fishing. I'll probably go once in the next five years, I would assume. I hope to go ice fishing this winter. We'll see if it works out. We'll see if it works out. But if not, this is an alternate shelter, and I'm really excited to have it.
That's uh, that's pretty easy. And let's see if like every tent I've ever owned, once you take it out of the bag for the first time, you never ever get it back in the same way. You have to think like you're packing up a Kardashian. Now it's big in the middle and skinny on the other end. That'll work. It's a cool little helical pegs. Gotta put those back in there. <laughs> 